When Tesla introduced a dancing update for the Optimus Gen 3 robot instead of a conventional technical upgrade, enthusiasts were both captivated and curious. However, the excitement quickly transitioned into discussion. Two primary questions arose. First, why did Tesla showcase the Gen 3 dancing feature and not focus on other updates? And second, shouldn't a robot be engineered primarily for utility and value rather than entertainment? The reality is that most individuals aren't concerned that Optimus can't yet fold laundry. What truly concerns them is the possibility that, one day, it will. Because the moment a robot becomes functional enough to enter our homes, it sparks broader contemplations, what implications does this have for my job, my privacy, and my identity? If a robot can teach itself to perform ballet without direct human input, what other skills might it eventually acquire? Could it develop empathy, influence, or even a degree of autonomy? Therefore, the issue isn't solely about what Optimus will do next, it's also about our trajectory from this point forward. At present, Optimus is actively deployed within Tesla's manufacturing facilities. It can pick up items, maintain its balance, and independently recharge. It can walk, adapt, and learn from errors. Soon, it might be cleaning homes, assisting the elderly, and performing duties once deemed too complex to automate. More significantly, it may begin to challenge our sense of what makes humans unique. Elon Musk has stated, this isn't even its final form. And we believe him. That is why the core question being asked is not about the robot, it's about us. What kind of people will we become in a world where machines aren't just tools, but also companions, co-creators, and perhaps one day, even societal members? As viewers watched the footage of Tesla Optimus performing its dance, reactions varied. Many found it entertaining, others criticized the move, saying, we don't need a robot that dances, we need one that works. But perhaps we should take a moment to reconsider. The rationale behind Optimus Gen 3's dancing goes far beyond mere showmanship, it lies in the methodology. Optimus did not master its movements by repeatedly falling in the real world. Instead, it trained in simulation, performing thousands of iterations in milliseconds. By the time it reaches a real-world setting, it operates near peak capability. This mirrors how human infants learn, through trial and error, recognizing patterns, and adapting. But in simulation, time is compressed, an hour of physical practice can be condensed into the equivalent of 10,000 hours of feedback. The robot you're observing isn't remote controlled. It's not rendered via CGI, nor is it following preset instructions. What you're witnessing is live, autonomous behavior. According to Tesla's lead robotics engineer, Optimus is executing complex, full-body motions entirely on its own, using the very same hardware it practiced with in simulation. That's what makes it remarkable, Optimus isn't just copying movement, it understands it. It has learned rhythm, balance, and the dynamics of its limbs, in a manner akin to human learning, but without experiencing a single physical fall. This raises a valid concern, how can we be certain these demonstrations are genuine and not computer-generated? That's precisely why Tesla takes rigorous steps to ensure all footage is authentic and unedited. What Optimus is achieving represents a real milestone in robotics, not a cinematic illusion. Historically, we've seen robots move with jerks, stumbles, or need external aids. By contrast, Optimus moves naturally within human spaces, earning our trust through presence, not explanation. When Optimus pivots, bends, or raises its leg purposefully, it does so thanks to advanced real-time motion and neural signal processing. The movement system in Optimus Gen 3 incorporates an 8-layer neural network with a 4D spatial inertia prediction engine. This setup enables it to process 2,774 teraflops using an integrated Adreno 750 GPU. With this tech, the robot can calculate force vectors across 28 muscle-like joints in just 0.4 milliseconds, 12 times faster than its Gen 2 predecessor. In the ballet demonstration released on May 16, 
Optimus executed 14 intricate spins without any safety restraints. This showcased the accuracy of its dynamic balance algorithms. Internal Tesla documents indicate that Optimus trains in a multidimensional quantum simulation that allows 84,000 motion patterns to run in parallel. Using a zero OT transfer method, these virtual skills are transferred to real world hardware seamlessly, reducing training time by 97% compared to conventional methods. MIT Robotics Lab tests conducted in April 2025 found that Optimus can adapt to 92% of terrain variability during its routines. Furthermore, the Gen 3 chip includes a Cortex X4 core and 7 secondary cores, allowing it to distribute processing power across tasks, image processing at 198.1 frames per second, object recognition at 174.5 items per second, and muscular reflex control at 26.7 responses per second. The robot's synchronized dance, paired with a virtual symphony orchestra, not only demonstrated multitasking but also fostered emotional engagement. This emotional resonance played a key role in Tesla AI's backslash $2.5 billion crowdfunding initiative. Recent data shows the dance video generated 48 million interactions in 72 hours, three times more than any technical feature clip. A Pew Research survey found that 62% of Americans view artistic expression as a more compelling AI benchmark than raw processing speed. This sentiment even contributed to Tesla's stock rising 3.2% shortly after the video launch, despite underwhelming quarterly earnings. It's important to note that this isn't the first time Optimus has demonstrated dance moves. The journey began in 2021, when Elon Musk first unveiled the concept of a humanoid robot. Instead of revealing a functioning model, Tesla presented an actor in a robot suit dancing on stage. It was clearly a teaser, not a serious demonstration, and reactions were more amused than impressed. The first actual footage of Optimus dancing arrived at the end of 2023 via the Gen 2 model. Then, during the Cyber Cab event in October, 43 Optimus units were displayed, with five performing a synchronized routine live. This was a pivotal moment, it proved that these robots could move with human-like fluidity in real-world conditions. Tesla accomplished this by prioritizing virtual training over physical testing. Optimus practiced countless routines in a fraction of the time needed for real-world trials. This strategy represents a breakthrough, bridging simulated learning with actual deployment, a notoriously difficult hurdle in robotics. The fact that Optimus can transition seamlessly between different dance styles like ballet and shuffle dancing underscores Tesla's engineering sophistication. Engineers employed a method called domain randomization, where variables such as floor slipperiness and object weight are randomized during simulation. This ensures skills remain robust when transferred to real-world environments. Critics may view the dance as a gimmick, but the underlying improvements, like enhanced balance and fluid gait, are directly applicable to everyday functionality. After all, no one wants a robot that stumbles or walks awkwardly in their home. Beyond entertainment, the dance showcased Optimus' full-body agility, crouching, twisting shoulders, and maintaining fluid posture, skills essential for tasks like housekeeping and elder care. During development, Tesla's lead engineer Milan Kovac mentioned that the team identified key hardware areas for improvement, joint durability, motor endurance, and thermal regulation. These upgrades are crucial, as robots, while immune to fatigue, still require energy management to prevent overheating. In essence, the dance was not just for show, it was a demonstration of evolving robotic functionality aimed at reliable daily assistance. Recent update videos from Tesla highlight Optimus engaging in domestic tasks like watering plants, carrying items, cleaning surfaces, and unloading groceries. Tesla presents Optimus not merely as machinery but as a domestic assistant capable of safely helping with chores ranging from childcare to elder support. What's especially notable is Optimus' conversational ability. It can engage in natural dialogue, provide companionship, and answer questions, indicating deep integration into human life beyond routine labor. 
While its task range is impressive, many people's biggest concern is safety. Can the robot maintain hygiene, for example, washing its hands after handling waste and before preparing food? While not all technical details are public, Tesla has shared insights on its robotic hands, which are among the most advanced in the field. Human hands possess 27 degrees of freedom, Optimus has 22. However, its tendon-mimicking design closely replicates human anatomy, with fewer components susceptible to water damage. The materials are easy to sanitize and may even feature antibacterial properties. Elon Musk emphasized that half of the robot's development effort focused on the hands, highlighting their importance. Usability is another key issue. Would users need to program every action manually? That would be cumbersome. Fortunately, Tesla's AI allows Optimus to learn by observation. Elon Musk stated that showing the robot a video of a task is sufficient for it to comprehend and replicate the action. This capability drastically minimizes training data requirements and enables real-time adaptability. Another distinguishing feature is Optimus' ability to interpret human gestures. It can recognize nonverbal cues such as pointing, aiding communication with users who may face speech difficulties. This intuitive interface significantly enhances usability. Recent AI advancements have propelled humanoid robotics to new heights. While systems like ChatGPT can offer instructions, they cannot act physically, Optimus bridges that gap. Musk notes that Tesla's advantage lies in its AI brain. The same AI that powers Tesla's self-driving cars, a form of wheeled robots, has been adapted to guide a humanoid one. By combining autonomy, deep learning, and user-centric design, Optimus aims to operate within human environments, taking over repetitive and risky tasks. Tesla's collaborations with Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Google are accelerating this AI frontier. NVIDIA's processors, in particular, support Tesla's supercomputers, which drive the robot's cognition. For those looking to purchase Optimus, mass production is scheduled for 2026, with estimated pricing between backslash $20,000 and backslash $30,000 depending on configuration. While initially expensive, Musk anticipates costs will decline, making the robot accessible to average consumers over time. Musk has made bold predictions, saying that by 2040, humanoid robots may outnumber humans, with every nation hosting at least one or more AI entities. He's even suggested that everyone will want to own an Optimus, potentially leading to a one-to-one -one human to robot ratio. Of course, since Optimus hasn't yet entered mass circulation, we can't accurately assess public demand. Musk remains confident, estimating the robot's price will fall to levels affordable for most households, offering a versatile assistant for various needs. He also foresees a future where robots become essential in everyday life, potentially replacing human roles across sectors. Musk has projected that AI could match human capabilities within a year or two, and by 2028, rival the combined intellect of Earth's entire population. This vision paints a future where work is optional, and people live comfortably while robots manage labor. Looking at Optimus' current performance, it's clear there's more development ahead. Since the initial prototype debuted in 2022, the journey is still in early phases. Ultimately, the robot aspires to take on a broad spectrum of tasks in support of human life. However, the dream of millions of Optimus units worldwide is still some way off. It remains to be seen whether Tesla can fully realize this vision. Personally, I remain cautiously optimistic. Public skepticism toward humanoid robots persists, fueled by dystopian sci-fi tropes. Plus, even at backslash $20,000, not everyone will afford one. That said, commercial demand could be substantial, particularly from major corporations like Amazon, Walmart, and PepsiCo. Musk tweeted that a limited number of Optimus units will be deployed internally in the next year, with mass production for external clients slated for 2026. Tesla employs around 100,000 people globally.
replacing even a portion of these roles with robots like Optimus could yield enormous cost savings. So, what are your thoughts? Are you prepared to share your space with machines that not only move and learn like us but may one day think like us as well? Let us know your perspective in the comments. If you've made it to the end, congratulations, you're already part of the future. That wraps up today's feature. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to explore more in-depth content about Tesla EVs or the Tesla bot, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Auto Intel. Don't forget to enable notifications so you won't miss our next video. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.